Good morning. It's Thursday, August 5th. So, I, as usual, I was debating what to talk about today with myself. Uh, it's, a, it's a cheerful conversation. Um, and, it'll, and just now, my wife supplied the answer. Um, I had misplaced something, and she accused me of having a quote-unquote senior moment. <clears throat> I am 61. And I defended myself by saying, no, no, this is the sort of thing I could absolutely have forgotten at any age. <laughs> uh, and it comes from the normal sort of busyness. And in this case, it was misplaced in the checkbook. And so Saturday, I did something with the checkbook and I, it was important. And I used the checkbook and then I put it away somewhere and it stopped being important. And many other things became important. And certainly since Saturday, even more things have been important. And so I just now remembered where it was, but I had to reconstruct the sequence of what I was doing and the possible locations and so forth. <clears throat> so it worked, it just didn't work instantaneously. And it has never worked necessarily instantaneously. I mean, some, I, I joke, I have a mind like a steel sieve. I, I remember all kinds of trivia and then have trouble with, you know, what I had for breakfast on Tuesday. I don't know, it, it wasn't important. I mean, I had a breakfast. I don't think I skipped it. Um, some people have marvelous memories and they can remember everything and time and date and who was standing next to them and the weather and the flavor of the food. That's not me. And I've talked in the past about how difficult it is, uh, for instance, when you're doing something that's completely routine, like switching up an electric kiln or locking up a storage unit. And recently, I, I sort of bumped into an insight. It was something, so I was doing my, my typical locking up the, the storage unit and being uncertain if I'd done it. And the problem is not that I can't remember doing it. I can remember doing it hundreds of times and, and none of them are significant. But what I realized was what I can remember is watching myself do them. The visual is always the same. And so a couple of times ago, I, I focused on the feel of the lock and the feel of the, the metal slide bar over when the lock goes on. And, and somehow that was more significant. Uh, you know, I got to that normal point of, did I do it? And I skipped right past the visual of seeing myself doing it and went to the, the, the texture of it. And went, yeah, I did it. There's something in there I'm, I'm only recently exploring, but uh, you know, people have talked about how vividly um, a sense of smell will transport you to a particular place or time in the past. Uh, we have a fabulous bakery here in town, Wheatfields, that standing outside the bread smells like standing outside of pastry shop or bread bakeries in, in France. I mean, it's, it's all the same, very vivid, but not because of the visual. So now I'm going to go get the checkbook and put it where it's supposed to be. Have a good day.